Yeah, hey, hello everyone. Welcome back, uh, back to my YouTube channel, Moses the Journalist. I'm here uh, at Mama Boy's home place, and uh, today I want to interview her and ask her questions on how her life has indeed transformed. So you're gonna hear from her how she will tell us. Okay, so we are here in Mama Boy's home, and uh, over there you can see her. She's seated in a sofa, which is so, so nice. Uh, and uh, indeed, God has indeed transformed her life. So, Mama Boy is here. Mama Boy, yeah. how are you? I'm fine. Oh, you're fine? Yes. Oh, we thank God. Yes. Okay, today I've visited you here. I want to ask you questions on how this your homestead has transformed, how it was before, and today how it is. So, people, you're going to allow me uh some part i'm gonna uh, we're gonna play it in local so that we can understand each other better but i'm gonna give you a clear clarification of our talk so my boy uh amba biro hiri ka uono mundo mi niswa kaka dala ni osebedo kaka nen chon kaka ka uono osebedo koro ema kwa ini mundo niswa nito ngina masani iwi nje ka ochal nade gema chon kaka ni chachalo Tell me what my tech machine. Right now, Kaka and John, no tech, no tech, so I was on case. Now don't get a la car, and a Kako can give me some shit. When I am, Kaka and I have a temper, or now can I? Man, I decide my work, my day. To have my bed, Katamaras, and no do go home. I could look at work with a bit of a child, or a man. My design, my shack of business, my rabu, and I mean, I do work at a self. Kora dia bedo kamano e, doka dia dia matis kamano matis kamano manya kadia ido nya timi lugo na bo. Kora bo ya bedo godo ma bo yo bedo matuo matero setal ma ba chaka bedo matuo ma chaka uo kama dia nya katuwa. Mana dia setal kanya muti ya da bangya na bo yo bo chaka bedo kuro matuo ma chaka uo uke ndo ma chaka kero uo. Kora bangya no endo endo dia bedo bedo kamano. Koro mana ya kakak ayahnya kasani. Koro saya dah nak life ni alu be 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 deh ma beri beri ni kerja jauh kau kau ekos beri kak support gig ma kau kai. Okay, so she's saying that it has not been easy with her there before. Ah, like some years back, she even ran away from this homestead and she went because this place was not that stable. But she was brought back again and that is the time that she got a boy. That is a boy that you know of. So she came back here. But today she's a happy woman because she got a nice house and uh, somehow a little bit uplifted and her basic needs are there. So, Mama Boy, I'm asking you again. Erika, can you do a conjurok me? You don't be more god on because even you got a child. Nade. ยังไงก็ยังดูกับพวกไอ้ตัวเนี้ยใช่ไหมก็ไม่รู้กันเนี่ยโอเคถ้าไม่ได้ลองนี่ดีเด่นเด็กไม่รู้เทมอะไรจ
So all along in mese bedo kichudo. Yeah, Okay. Okay, so she's saying that uh, she has been doing she has been selling bananas. That is the where she get her income from so she can support a boy her son to go to school so the fee has been coming from the income of selling bananas so that is what she has been doing to support her in life but today she's also happy because the supporters who have been supporting her as well as stand firm with a boy and they've paid uh, a boy's school fee from that is term two and term three right yes. term two and term three that is the this the this year that now we have ended yeah so she's so much appreciative and thankful for her life as indeed transformed yeah any other thing that these people have done to you that uh, you also thank them apart from uh, building you a house uh, like supporting also a boy in paying school fee any other thing mana mana magicheja kitimo ni kendo mpogore ki garot gichuro na boy school fee benti mara mara kendo magicheja kitimo ni yeah mane kaka mane tanda ange ki tanda mane ende ne kinyo mm Okay, so she's saying that uh, uh, she didn't have chairs, but today she has. She never had a bed, but today she has and she's sleeping comfortable. And uh, as you can see over here again, the house is tiled and uh, uh, she will never sweep the house again. The dust, she's from, she's away from dust now. She'll be mopping the house. So she's very much happy. And uh, to the yoga I also saw some onions. Are they yours or you are, you are supported? I was supported. Okay, so you are given the onions. For what purpose? I'm going to use them. You're just going to eat them or you're going to use them for, uh, for a different purpose. You're going to them or you're going to use them for a different purpose. And when they are too much, I can sell others. Okay, so you're going to sell others to get some, some something. Yes. Okay, so the supporters who gave her onions, they're going to sell them to get something. Yes. Okay, so the supporters who gave her onions to plant in a, in, in a farm, uh, she's so thankful and she says that uh, when the onions shall have grown up, she'll use them and uh, she'll, sell, she'll, she'll go and sell them to get at least an income from the onions. So yeah, she's very much happy, and uh, I can see the the house is uh, next to, uh, a little bit next to the river. It is the like uh, the fence is a little bit next to the river. So my uh, boy, are you being affected? Like ka gini ni machi ni gya ora ka odi ni ka ni machi ni gya ora be yudo chandro be yudo ka chandro mo mo ron tiere ko si na ina maber ke be do kai. Kecha our our war like uh, the river, the sound that uh, it's coming from the river is it affecting you? But you know, but but Chandi, our war, our. Oh, okay. So she's uh, troubled that uh, maybe when river Kuja, like I showed you river Kuja, uh, I don't know if you can see it from here. Yeah, there over there, river Kuja. So when it gets full to the brim, so she's afraid that it may come and wash them away. But it is impossible because this place it's uh, it's hilly, so it it can't manage to come out reach this point. So it is very hilly. But she's so troubled that if it reaches here, it may wash them away. But that one is impossible. It can't. So I was just asking her if the sound does the sound affect them. But she says no. Only she's just afraid that uh, maybe if the water gets full to the brim it may come and wash them away of which it can't yeah so that is all and uh, how about uh, how you are you, you are you are getting your meals like your basic needs chemo you do your money chemo the food i got when i sell bananas maybe i can get even 100 kenyan shillings yeah. so when i get for that 100 kenyan, kenyan shillings yeah. I can buy with it a maize, maize. of two kg. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she sells bananas. That is what she's she's uh, that is the economic that she's doing here, selling bananas, that she can get an income and uh, 
Because the shamba is too dry, even, even if I planted it, nothing mm. can come out. So mm. it is too dry, even I plant it, even a maize, mm. nothing is coming. Mm. So I, I just used to buy. Okay. Yes. So she says that the shamba is so dry and uh, uh, the maize can't do well. So what probably does well in your shamba? There is nothing can do better there. There's nothing can do better in, in your in uh, in both of your shambas. Yes, I'm just trying to keep to keep small small ones. Okay. Yeah. So even uh, things like cassava, do they do well? Cassava between my better dear. Cassava I have planted them for a long time, but now they cannot do well. Oh they can't Those do well. They have been yeah, that no, that that means now the, the soil is exhausted. It can't it can't now do well. The yield has now exhausted and it can't do well now. The fertility it has lost the the garden has lost its fertility. So that is the reason as to why the cassava also cannot do well. So that is how Mama Boy is here and uh, those that are support the people that supported Mama Boy uh, we are pleading with you that may you stay firm with her and uh, continue helping her for because her boy is soon joining high school. Cindy it's just going to do his examination. His examination this year. Yeah. Yeah, and next year he'll be in high school. Yes. Yeah. So you have to stay firm. Stay firm with Mama her boy, because high school is not a joke. It needs a uh, school fee, a lot of school fee. So stay firm with her, and you people help her and support her, and may God bless you, and may God bless your aunts. Thank you so much. Yeah, so this is how this is our onion farm, and uh, this is how the onions are doing. Uh, though this place is so much dry, that is the reason as to why uh, they can't do that that much productive. So this is how the onions are doing, and she has also planted some kales here. Yeah, that she will be using also. So this is how her. Uh, onion farm looks like but it is not that much productive because the farm the farm here is so much dry yeah the farm is so much dry that is the reason as to why the onions are not that much productive but with time they will be productive if, uh, if at all they get uh, manure yeah, the the farm will pro the, the the fertility it, the, the the garden shall have regained its fertility again, and the onions will do well. Uh, yeah, so that is her farm. Yeah, over there it's a cassava a small scale cassava plantation. Yeah, that I also want to show you. Uh, cassava plantation that she says that it is not doing well now because the garden has indeed lost its fertility so this uh, this is a cassava plantation as you can see it is indeed not doing good here because the soil or the farm here it is not fertile that is the reason as to why it can't do good here so the cassava can't do well in this place and here again she has planted sweet potatoes yeah so she has planted sweet potatoes here yeah the sweet potatoes are here and over the other side also she has planted the bananas so you people this the reason as to why these places do not do good is because the fertility of this of this uh, soil it is not that good that is the reason as to why people plant a lot of trees in this area because uh, in dry places trees do good they can get um, they can grow in dry places that is the reason why they plant a lot of trees in this area but farming like uh, doing farming maize no this place is not suitable because it is not fertile yes so that is a sweet potato farm Yes, I can't forget also to show you her kitchen. That is her kitchen. And uh, the kitchen here has been divided into two. This door here is a, this is a boy's door. 
a boy sleeps here. That is a boy's room. Yeah, and uh, over this other side, this is the doorway to the kitchen. That is the doorway to the kitchen. So that is their kitchen and a, doy, a boy's sleeping place. Also here, another sweet and looking nice house. That is her house. Yeah, but today she's so happy. She's living in a plastered house. Wow. The woman is very, very much happy. So she's living in a plastered house today. That is the reason as to why people always tell us that uh, today we never know what tomorrow will be. Today is today. We never know what tomorrow will be. She never knew that this could come true. But today she has she got a house. She also got a kitchen that she never knew she could have. Look at how the kitchen is structured. She's cooking and the smoke pass there up they no, lo they, they no longer smoke now smoke yeah <laughs> they no longer smoke now smoke so that is their house and i thank god for this and now water they also don't go to the river to collect water the water is here and the water guards have been placed here and uh, to collect water to the to the tank so they have their tank here and they no longer go to the river again and again here uh, i'm meeting also a boy a boy how are you you're fine okay so here today i was in your here in your, in your home i was interviewing your mom and uh, that is what has taken place here so what are you what are you doing what are you doing on the other side yeah. the other side what were you doing oh, just resting. you are resting today there, there's no any job that you're doing yes. no any charity job that you're doing today yes. okay so you're just resting today okay that is fine so i was also here and uh, i thank you so much for I thank God for what He has done to your home. Are you happy for what God has done to your, your home? Yeah, You're very, very happy. Yeah. And how can you say to the people who are supporting you? Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so God bless you and add you more. Add you more, yeah. So boy is like, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You see, it's the reputation of thank you, thank you. So it's so much touching and it's so much happy. These people, wherever you meet them anywhere, they will really smile with you because they're seeing the development that is taking place in the village. So they're very much happy and always very ever smiling people in the village. You people who are supporting them, who are supporting this community, you are indeed making this play, this people to be so much happy may god had you mm, days a number of days to live in this world okay thank you so much a boy so beloved ones that is uh that was mama boy and i hope you have heard from her what she has said she has, she has shared with us her story and you have heard from her thank you so much uh, for watching for watching th those who watch this video and remember to like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that is Moses the Journalist. Bye bye and catch up with me again when I shall prepare you another nice video. See you.